Lesson 20. Why Advertising? Overview. In this lecture, we'll delve into the language used in advertising, particularly focusing on explaining the concept of weasel words. We'll explore the purpose of advertising and its role in conveying information beyond market education. This includes discussing the various classifications of market education, the impact of adopting market education strategies, and the techniques employed in this realm. Additionally, we'll touch upon the involvement of public relations in advertising, highlighting the distinctions between the two. Finally, we'll outline the significance of the seven W's in structuring an effective advertisement campaign. Weasel words. Advertisers frequently deploy specialized language, incorporating terms that can be misleading, commonly known as weasel words. Examples of such words include, helps, virtual, new and improved, and, like. Here are some illustrations. 1. Helps. In advertising, help does not necessarily imply a cure. For instance, a product may claim to help indigestion without providing a cure. 2. Virtually. This term implies, not really, or, not in fact, as seen in advertisements claiming a medicine virtually relieves all symptoms, potentially indicating it doesn't relieve any symptoms. 3. New and improved. Although a product may be labeled as, new, due to a change, this freshness typically lasts for six months. 4. Like. Products asserting they work, like magic, suggest resemblance but not actual magic. Presupposition. Integral to advertising, presuppositions prompt readers to consider the existence of objects, propositions, and culturally defined behavioral properties. For instance, the phrase, have you had your daily vitamins, presupposes the necessity of taking, daily vitamins. Why advertising? Understanding the necessity of advertising and its objectives is paramount. Here's a brief overview. 1. It's a technique predating many others. 2. It financially supports various communication media. 3. It serves as a visible communication from an interested party to a target audience. 4. It's essential for selling large quantities of goods. 5. It's both visible and often measurable. How does advertising help? The primary purpose of advertising is to create awareness and convey information, such as 1. Introducing a new product. 2. Communicating changes in work schedules or company layoffs. 3. Explaining interruptions in service and advising the public on appropriate actions. 4. Addressing a change in company name. 5. Clarifying issues during a strike. 6. Reporting a company's activities to the target public. 7. Contributing to the company's overall image. Advertising and market education. Certain companies use market education in advertising to enhance its acceptability and productivity. The threefold effects of market education in advertising include quicker acceptability, making lighter advertising possible, and enhancing overall cost effectiveness. Two kinds of market education and two types of market. There are two major kinds of market education. Pre-selling and education related to products and services already on the market. Markets are classified into trade, sellers, and consumers or users, buyers or users. Effects of adopting market education strategy. Adopting a market education strategy yields positive effects, including minimizing sales resistance, facilitating adequate distribution before advertising, reducing advertising costs, and enhancing advertising effectiveness. Techniques adopted for market education. Various techniques are employed for market education, such as media relations campaigns, prototype testing, audiovisual aids production, dealer visits, targeted campaigns for opinion leaders, and the creation of supporting printed material. Advertising and public relations. In the competitive landscape, advertising serves as a crucial tool for public relations, PR. PR focuses on informing, educating, and creating understanding, contributing to market education. Advertising becomes more successful when preceded by PR activities that establish knowledge and understanding of the promoted product or service. How advertising differs from PR. PR is not a subset of advertising. It encompasses all organizational communications, whereas advertising primarily serves sales and marketing objectives. While an organization may not always use advertising, it is invariably involved in PR. 
PR has a broader scope, covering everyone and everything, while advertising is task-specific for selling and buying. Advertisement campaigns. Advertising campaigns are vital in today's competitive environment. To ensure cost effectiveness and efficacy, campaigns should address the seven W's. 1. What is the objective of the campaign? 2. What problems are to be addressed? 3. What extent of results is anticipated? 4. What media will be preferred for different target audiences? 5. What will be the likely cost? 6. Who is launching the campaign? 7. When is the campaign planned for launch?